Welcome back to Woodchuck Creations. I'm Chuck and today we're going to do a shop tour of my 30 by 40 workshop. As some of you may know, I used to use the third bay of our three car garage as my workshop. And recently we were able to build a 30 by 40 building that I moved my workshop into. And today I'm going to give you a tour of that. First thing I have when you come in through the bay door is my miter station. Now currently I have my Craig Foreman and my belt sander kind of sitting off to the back here and I don't have a permanent place for those but I just bring them out when I use them. Along the sidewall you'll see that I have my drill press, bandsaw, and router table set up and the idea is that I'm going to put a dust collector in this corner and run a manifold system to these three machines and to my miter station so that it will be along the wall and not in the middle of the shop. Along the back wall, I have these cabinets which I store my hand tools in, and I also keep my clamps and small tools on pegboard there as well. Kind of in the middle of the shop, I have my table saw with my built-in outfeed table. I kind of want to upgrade this, but for now it works really well, and we'll see how it goes with the dust collection once I add that to the shop. One of the things I get a lot of comments on in the workshop are the walls. I didn't want to use drywall in here and we have 10 foot ceilings so I wanted it broken up a little bit so I did a 3 foot corrugated metal wainscoting and did kind of like a shiplap pattern with some half inch plywood that I cut down into 8 inch pieces. On the other side of the workshop is where I currently have like my lawnmower, yard tools and ladders, wood storage, things like that. I don't have a permanent solution for what I'm going to do over here at this point, but I do plan to do like an assembly table and maybe some workbenches where I can put the tools that are kind of stored away, like the foreman and the belt sander that are tucked on my miter saw station right now. As most people who have workshops already know, your workshop is never really finished. It's always a work in progress, so there's always something else you're planning on doing or want to do. That finishes with the front of the shop. Now let's take you to the back. This is a side entry door which leads to a 10 by 40 patio we had added on to the side of the shop. Behind the entrance to the workshop area is the bathroom. As we move back you'll see that I have like a hangout area back here which is where we do the uh, project planning for the workshop. And since I had plumbing already to the workshop I went ahead and installed a kitchenette here as well. You may have noticed that I haven't finished the flooring in the front section of the shop, which I plan to use the epoxy flooring like I have in our garage. However, in the back, I ended up going with vinyl plank flooring, which I think turned out really well, and it's easy to clean up. As we go around this corner, you'll see that I have some sleeping quarters set up, so if I get tired working in the workshop too much, I can just come back here and take a nap. In the back of this room, we have a closet which has our water heater and water softener and some extra storage as well. The reason we have all these openings instead of doors throughout this area is that we went with a ductless Mr. Cool mini split that I installed myself and it was actually really simple to install. I highly recommend it. It seems to be very efficient as well. I was somewhat reluctant to make this video because I don't want people to get discouraged thinking they need this big huge workshop to work in to do their projects. I literally did this in a garage four years and didn't have any problem with that. However, I always enjoyed watching other people's shop videos just so I could get more ideas on how I wanted to set things up in mind. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment about what you think about my workshop and maybe some suggestions on improvements that I could make in the future. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit subscribe. I have a lot of other videos for you to check out and thanks for watching. I cut into eight inch strips and kind of things I get a lot of comments about in the workshop are the walls. I have my workshop. I used to use my workshop. Or you used to how do I say that? the bay door of the and the of the entrance to the garage. When you come in the entrance to the through the, the through the